I've been asked the question a time too many. What made you decide to start The Tempest? But the funny thing is, my decision to start the company came without a second thought. The inception came with a question. Why weren't we hearing about the world and all of its intricacies from the vibrant, authentic, and varied women from underrepresented backgrounds? Figuring out what led me to that decision, though, always takes me back to being that awkward, slightly pudgy, verbose self that I was at 14 years old. Always on the fringe of the social circle, I spent most of my childhood moving around the Northeast and struggling to find friends who accepted me for what I was. Homeschooled, feminist, independent, and always coming up with the next idea to change the world. It was with that kind of what if attitude that I approached every initiative I undertook. There were no limits. As long as I believed in the potential impact and had the fire underneath me to go for it. If there was a constant current running throughout, where would I find those who accepted me for who I was, quirks and all? As a visible minority, an American Muslim woman who had chosen to cover from 10 years old on a bet with my mom, I found that there were layers to my identity and life experience that took years to begin unpacking. On top of that were the boxes those around me put me in. Boxes that were difficult to break out of, but boxes that I simply refused to operate within. It all led back to the question, why did I begin a media company that now had morphed into an international movement for diverse millennial women to be exactly who they wanted to be, themselves. Crazy as it sounds, I did it because it needed to be done. The Tempest, formerly known as Coming of Faith, began out of a lifetime of personal experiences, experiences that I saw reflected too often in those around me, time and time again. Instead of speaking for diverse millennial women, we were giving them the chance Finally, to tell their own stories through writing, videos, audio, and music, and the results have been inspiring, in growth and in reach. Rather than creating a set narrative and fitting different people into what we deemed the right box, we were giving them the ability to own their experiences, voices, and stories. Rather than paying lip service to minorities, millennials, and women, like many networks and media properties tend to do, The Tempest talks the talk and walks the walk. I think a lot about whether my younger self would befriend the person I am now. I believe she'd give me a chance.